Hey guys, what's up? My name is Chanel and today's video will be an update on the uh, Project Call project. This is an update on the Partners in Korean Project Japan. I will leave all the creators listed down below. If you're not yet uh, subscribed, go ahead and like and subscribe. Helps my small channel out a lot. And I do post a lot of makeup related content like Project Painting over here on my channel. So you don't want to miss out on those videos. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's update. Okay guys, so I do have to update you on my Chanel cream bronzer. I will insert a picture of what it looked like last update. And this is where we are today. It is completely empty. I do have it on mixed with another cream bronzer today. I finished it off and I will show you what I'm replacing it with. The other bronzer that I'm replacing it with is on my face today. And they're kind of similar in formula. This one had 21 ounces, I think, no, 30 grams. And the other one has 21 grams, I think. So the one I'm replacing it with is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is the Beautiful Skin Sunkiss Glow Bronzer. And I have mine in the shade One Fair Pal. And this is what it looks like. So I'm so excited to have finished the other one. It took me, I don't know, maybe two years of owning this to get through it maybe. And um, I've owned this one maybe like shortly after, whenever this was released, I picked it up on the Charlotte Tilbury website. Um, I noticed that there's little facial hairs in there and brush hairs in there, so don't mind that. But this is where we're starting. And again, I will take pictures to keep track of the um, progress as we go. And yeah, it's what I'm wearing today, topped off with a powder bronzer. Let me know how um, it looks on the face if you guys like this bronzer combination. Um, obviously I don't have the Chanel one to mix it in with anymore, but I'll probably be under painting with this one and then foundation over the top. We'll see how it goes. It's a little gray toned and harder to use. Um, I feel like I'm going to hit pan in the middle sometime soon because I do focus my brush there. Um, and eventually we'll have to kind of either use the edge or scoot it all to the middle, but I'm excited and I think we might have to switch bronzers when it comes like summertime since it is so cool toned I don't think it'll work for me come May or June so I'm going to try to use up as much as possible and if we have to use another bronzer and come back to this one that's fine or if we can kind of mix bronzers until this is all done then I will try to do that to kind of like warm it up but I'm so excited to have finished my Chanel bronzer it's like such an accomplishment I'm so proud um, let me know if you've ever panned that bronzer or if you've uh, panned cream bronzer that you're proud of. Let's talk about it in the comment section. And next I have my Westman Atelier lit up stick. I'll insert a picture where we were last update. And here we are now. This is all we have left. Just a little nub nub. I'll give you a little swatch of what it looks like. It is the highlighter that is on my face today. Um, I do have a Dior powder highlight. But yeah, this is our cream highlighter. This is our cream highlighter that we do have on. And I would say another two to three months until that is gone. I don't get to use it every day. I would say every other makeup application day I'm putting it on. And then let's talk about the cream blush that I'm wearing. Granted, I mixed in another liquid blush and a powder blush on top, obviously. Um, so... Um, it's my Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Blush in Pinkgasm. I'll insert a picture where we were last update. And now this is where we are. I um, did mark it with nail polish, so we're at this line right here. And I would say another one or two months until this is done. I like how sheer and beautiful this is. Um, obviously, when it swatches like that, it's not going to look like that on the cheek. It's a shared out version of that. So I'll just get my beauty blender and blend it out. And it gives me like a sheer wash of like a shimmery pink. And it's so beautiful. And if I want to mix something on top, it just leaves a nice base. So that's kind of what it looks like blended out on the face. Just a nice sheer pink with lots of shimmer in it. I do enjoy wearing this every day. I don't have a problem wearing it every day. And we've been making consistent progress throughout this project pan. So I feel like another maybe two to three months and it'll be finished so um i think if i go through some more cream blushes this is one that i would re uh reconsider repurchasing um i know the price tag is really high but i don't know i just really enjoy the formula and the finish and the color so um next i do want to talk about my dior concealer i will 
insert a picture if I have one, but I did finish that off. It's just I didn't take out the stopper to scrape it um, completely, but I think my daughter wants to do that, so I gave it to her. Um, but I don't feel like taking the stopper off and scraping just because I own a lot of concealers and don't want to do that. And there's like new concealers that I would like to purchase and I don't want to be clinging on to one. Um, did your formula is fine. I like the shade. Everything is good about it. It's just I've used that concealer since its uh, inception <laughs> pretty much. Um, since they first released it, I've been through maybe like three tubes of it. So... At this point in my life, I think I'm ready to um, get away from it, at least for a while. Maybe in the future, I will pick up another tube of it, but for now, I don't want to repurchase. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just I've used it for so long. Um, I'm just curious to try out other formulas and use what I have in my collection. So I will be, ooh, I will be replacing it with this Tower 28 concealer, and I have mine in the shade CC. It's their serum concealer, and we are right below the R. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. And of course I'll take up close photos of it. This is the concealer that I'm wearing under my eye and it's just so lightweight, very creamy. A little bit goes a long way. So I love how easy it blends out and still provides very great coverage. I find myself sometimes um, spot concealing with this and not using foundation at all, which is not very like me. You guys know I'm a full glam full coverage type of girl so if I can wear less product and still get a lot of coverage then you know it's a keeper this is an, uh, another concealer that I would consider repurchasing once it's finished um, but I do want to get through this one and some other ones before I buy a few more um, so yeah this one is going to be the concealer that I focus on hopefully for the next two to three months that's how long I, I'm um, assuming that it'll take to use this up but yeah, highly recommend if you haven't tried this formula. And I love the light lilac type of um, shade of the cap. The aesthetic. Tower 28 is such a vibe. I enjoy their products. Um, and lastly, we do have a lip gloss by Dior. So if I have a picture of where we were last update, I will insert one right here. And we are currently um, between the D and the I um, right here. Or if we're looking at the lip maximizer part, we are between the M and the A. So, yeah. Hopefully, I can um, pan this very soon. This is my work lip gloss. I take this to work with me. Or if I find a makeup look that I feel like needs a little nudiness, of course, I will always pop some of this on. I'm going to pop some onto my finger and on my lip because I'm wearing more of a purpley tone lip that I'm not in love with. I was just too lazy to remove it for this video. To be honest, I didn't want to ruin the rest of my makeup and get anything smeared. So let's see if we can lighten this up or at least add some shine back to the lips. I am wearing two different lip glosses. So I'm probably already gloopy and globby. So hopefully that did something. I am wearing... Um, whatever the lolita shade is called by kbd i know it's not lolita anymore and then i do have on this tom ford lilac -y type of uh, lip gloss in the shade 10 loveless and then i do have makeup revolution and the shade hope on top of that and that was the lip combo today now we just added dior so hopefully this is a cute lip combo if not it's just makeup <laughs> it'll probably come off when i eat um so yeah i will continue to keep reaching for this keep it in my little scrub pocket because that's usually what i do and re reapply this as needed um i enjoy the plumpiness the smell the fact that it's dior just feels you know luxurious and you just feel so fancy pulling out and putting it on your lips i like the micro shimmer in there it's just such a nude good color and it's a staple of my collection i buy one of these every single year and i use them up so shade 100 again maybe two maybe two months until this one is gone and i'm really trying to get through my lip collection i'm currently panning 
maybe like four other lip products at the moment and a lot of them are on their way out and i have a handful of other ones that i pulled that i want to get done with this year so hopefully you guys see more um lip glosses in this project pan but i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to give my video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and i hope you all have a beautiful day or night wherever you are and take care i'll see you in my next video